Hey, what's up, guys? It's Outdoors Jumian here. I'm standing on the White Fiddle Settle, looking down towards Boyd Hut, the airstrip over there. And we are on our big expedition hunt into Seeker country, chasing the wily Seeker deer, trying to get us a nice big old stag. So, yeah, come along with us on this journey and see how we get on. <laughs> So we're, uh, <clears throat> we're pushing off, we're heading, um, we're heading up to the Boyd Hunt. Yeah, the weather's uh, not going to look too good, so we've pulled out of where we were, head up to the hut for a couple of days, and then we'll be pushing off from there. Hey guys, we're down there, about down there earlier today before we pulled out now we're heading towards Boyd Hut following this path here up and around and up the gut See why we came to the hut. It's terrible weather out there. <clears throat> Man, it's terrible weather. Look at that, eh? It's terrible weather out there, so we've come to the hut. We'll ride the storm and uh, we'll push off up to the cell tomorrow. Long day in the hut. Okay, guys. Well, we came from the burn and we went up to the board, have a look around. And now we're heading off again. We're heading up to the White Fiddle Saddle and uh, we'll see how it goes up there. And here's where we drop down to the river. Okay, guys, we're just approaching the White Fiddle Saddle. Uh, this is going to be our spot for a while. Need a four point on walk. Both me and my mate, we had him in the scope. And we turn him down. Also, mate, you'll grow to a bigger one. Let him grow. But that's cool. 
We're happy with that. We're raw them in. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, man. Check this out, guys. We've had one mean frost on the saddle. One mean frost. So uh, let's go check the saddle out, eh? Let's go have a look. Oh, ho, ho. Check it out. Check this out. I can hear deer roaring. Check this out, guys. Frozen boots. Thawing them out on the sign up here on the saddle. We just had an epic roaring battle and I was down the hill over there and guess who the shooter was? My mate here. Got him. If I got him, I quartered him, but he's down there somewhere. He ran. I only heard him go that way a little bit. Like a leg shaking. Woohoo! What an epic battle of calling. There was a couple of them up here. We just kept pushing forward, keep calling, keep going. The shot presented and he took it. That's what it's all about guys, see? Teamwork, caller, hang back, shooter, go forward. The whole time, I didn't even have one in the chamber. Yeah, awesome. This would be good for a look, see? Well, let's go try and find this baby. Oh, the, talk us through the, the stalk, I think. Jumping forward like that worked, eh? Like, get ahead of, ahead of you when you roared a little bit. Yeah. That was mean. My only dilemma is, I wonder what the other one looked like. But we didn't get him, we got this one, so. That's right, we got this guy here. And um, we didn't have it on camera, but there's man hugs all around. Um, but no, we, we did it right. Um, I didn't have it around in the chamber at all, um, being the back guy. Um, I was the one moving, bouncing along as well with the call and call. Yeah, call. we found him. Um, down here so here he is he's just down over here so that's him that's him folks there's he lie there's he lies so he's an all right looking beast there you guys um he's only a four Oh, he's got a young face. A couple of knife handles here, folks. A couple of knife handles. Mm. Alright guys, this is our little campsite we're just leaving. Pretty cool campsite right on the edge of the bush here at the saddle. It's real close to the saddle, so the only problem is it's out of the sun, but it's not too bad. Um, we've, we've done really good up here at the uh, White Tafetal Saddle. Um, as you've seen, we've come away with a deer, got ourselves a stag, and um, yeah, there was heaps of roaring action. Now we've had a real good hunt up here, um, but it's time to move on and move on we shall. Our mates have come up past us, 
and we heard a shot this morning so we're pretty sure they've nailed something as well so we'll stop in at their campsite on the way through our campsite was just in over there real close to the saddle really awesome and we're heading now that way let's go Hey guys, um, just a quick update, um, I'm a bit camera shy so excuse my nerves and crap presentation but I've just spent the last 40 minutes playing stag uh, here in the Kamanoa Ranges and he was roaring well, I thought I blew it, um, I gave him another nudge and he came back and uh, I'm about to show you what's um, prevailed. So I apologise that we didn't get any footage of the actual hunt, as you can imagine I had my hands pretty full at the time. But he came within 10 metres of me and um, around the next bolt prevailed. And this is pretty much where he fell. Here's his blood trail. Okay, uh, looks like I've taken out the lungs, I don't know, I haven't, haven't moved them yet. But this is exactly where I found him. He ran probably 30 metres or so through the bush. He's a big body boy. Um, not the biggest head in the world, but hey, only my second eight pointer, so I'm not complaining, eh? Here he is, fellas. Um, I, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm sorry for the people out there that don't like the hunting, but at the end of the day, it's my passion, and I uh, don't feel any guilt for that. I love these animals, I love this forest. Habitat's important. And he is not a bad little head for my... 10 day sojourn into the forest so there it is guys that's me i'm done i'm going to spend the rest of the day sorting the sky out have a good roar and uh hunt safe oh yeah and i also forgot to mention that just before i went out and got the stag i carried this fella back to camp also so it's not all just about stags and roaring and all that it's about getting meat and filling the freezer too Hey guys, yep, so we've, uh, we've come down from the Waitafero Saddle and we're down on the Oamaru River now, so yeah, and this is our, our little campsite that we've got going on down here. And this, um, this site is basically right at the confluence of the, um, of the tracks. So the campsite is pretty close to, well right here, so you can see the, where the Oamaru hut is, the Cascade hut and the Boyd hut sign is and we're just through over there so yeah guys so what do you think about that eight pointer eh that my mate got not bad eh looking pretty good so we've got a couple of stags this trip we've had a lot of encounters um yeah lots of good roaring now it's been pretty awesome you know we've had a real good time of it so uh yep we'll uh carry on um, today, go to help and get around this area. There's a uh, stag being ro roaring up the hill behind us, up over that way, up over that way there. Um, gonna head out over this side over here and have a look what's around here. Mate of mine, he's, the other mate's just gone up the, up the track. Somewhere. And there. And the last one I had was a few way off, so I 
See if I can find them. I'm pretty sure of a hit. Pretty sure it was a solid hit, but uh, I gotta go try to find them now. <laughs> awesome, guys. Oh man, guys. Bit of a slog up the hill. But uh, well, I kept looking back to my tree and uh, where I shot him from. And he kept the six coming up to where the sun sort of was. And there he is. Dead where I shot him. But uh, one shot. Got him, took him out. Oh man, I'm pretty stoked. I thought it was a good hit. Um, I thought it was a good hit. When I pulled the trigger, it was all nice. A really good rest. And I'm looking back, looking back to where he was. Yeah, I can just see my tree stump straight through there. Just over the, around there somewhere there's a big stump lying on the ground. Massive one, I was standing right behind it. Really good rest. Had plenty of time to line them up, turn the power up on the scope, had a minute. And um, as soon as he presented, squeezed off a nice shot and it was one shot boom I didn't see him run didn't hear him run and uh, it felt good at the time I was pretty sure it was a good shot and well here we are guys proofs here yeah he's only a little fella but we hike out in four days and now there be some hind legs some shoulders back stakes and a couple of uh, antlers that might turn into knife handles awesome yeah <laughs> guys I've only got a Pico and now for the pack out lucky straight down the ridge across the creek over to camp Whew. not looking forward to it but here we go see you at camp okay guys we're just breaking camp here we're gonna head down river now we're heading down river um, Jab Creek is our pickup point We'll stop somewhere between here and there. And uh, so we've got a couple more days of hunting and we'll see how we go. Whew. Okay guys, we're on the track, heading down the Oamaru River. Yeah, we we're just at the confluence of uh, the track that goes up over Maunga Orangi and the track that heads up to the Waitafero Saddle. So here we go, we're heading down to our other campsite, which is a little ways down the, o the Oma Oamaru River. So yeah, here we go, we keep going. Here's the old campsite that we used to always stay at, this one here. It's a great campsite, look at the size of it. Plenty of room. And um, it's right on the river. Can't go wrong man, it's a good spot. Plenty of hunting around this area. And um, the Otore Hinaiti stream is just around over there and goes up the next valley. Some real good hunting up there. But well, we're not staying here tonight. We're pushing on. We're heading down to Jap Creek. And because uh, that's where our helicopter pickup is. So we're just going to park up down there. 
It's been the last couple of days of our trip hunting down there and maybe a little spot of fly fishing. See you there. Righto guys, we made it. Here is Jack Creek. G'day, so me again, uh, two days since I shot the stag. I don't know if I'm a sucker for punishment or stupid or greedy or what it is. We're going home in a couple of days and I have just opened a massive can of worms because I've just shot the hind. I don't know if you saw that. And over there somewhere, here is a, a small stag that I just shot and I think maybe up there up there is the other stag I might have just shot I'll keep you posted, I, I don't know if this is uh, for real but I've run out of bullets and there's one he whoring like just over there like there's no tomorrow watch this space Okay, so here's stag number two, or sorry, deer number two. Um, not my best work. Um, this guy, I should have left him alone. I didn't get a good look at him. I just shot on impulse. I'm here to shoot deer, but this guy, he could have turned into something really nice. So I should have left him alone, but hey, another deer down, guys. So yeah, look, I try to be an ethical hunter, but um, sometimes, you know, just a bit of excitement gets the better of you. I think most hunters are the same, and opportunity presented, so I took. Back in a minute. Okay, um, well, unfortunately no sign of stag number three. Um, I've been having a good dig around, a good look in here. I cannot find him anywhere. Um, sometimes I'd give a lot for a good tracking dog but unfortunately I don't have one and um, yeah this is pretty steep and bluffy country doesn't really do it justice but it's pretty gnarly and I haven't got any comms and yeah I just I only have a PLB and I don't want to have to activate it so I just want to get out of here without breaking my legs hopefully and um, yeah I think I'll just have to put that down to, to bad luck a, you know, I'm pretty sure I tagged him, but he's he could be anywhere. He's probably gone to ground somewhere, and I just I haven't got it on me to find him. Unfortunately, that's hunting. Hey, eh? sometimes sometimes you don't pull it off. So I think I'll be happy with what I've got, and um, yeah, I'll leave you to it. Cheers. Hello, guys. Well, this is the end of the trip. Um, we came down to Jap Creek, and yeah, unfortunately the weather didn't really play ball. Pretty much has rained, and we we're looking at heavy rain for the next day or two. So we're hauling out a bit earlier. Got onto Haliseka, and they're going to get us out of here. So yeah, so unfortunately we didn't get the hunt up Jap Creek, but never mind. Uh, we had a really good trip. We got flowing into um, the burn area. And then we hunted our way along and around the Boyd Hut and then across and up and over the Waitafetal Saddle, down the track, down the main track, down to the Oamaru River, and then made our way down to here, to Jap Creek. We also went down to um, the hut, the Oamaru Hut, caught up with a few people down there. Actually, funny enough, there was uh, everyone in the hut was from Whangarei, and then a couple of guys turned up there from Auckland, so... Yeah, and we knew, we knew the guys and had a good catch-up. It was good. Um, but nah, that, that's the end of it. This is uh, this is on our little campsite here at Jap Creek. So, yeah, been a good trip. Um, me and my hunting companion over here. Nah, we, uh, we had a good trip. We got, uh, we got uh, all up. We've got, we've had three stags and a yearling. So we're packing out plenty of meat to take out home. And yeah, so it's a good trip, good trip, all up. Lots of roaring action here. 
and uh, yeah anyway guys that's it for this uh, episode so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one